Hello. Today we're going to show you how to change the needle bar or the presser bar on a Prodigy quilter. It's a very easy process. Uh, I will show you it doesn't matter if you have the smaller version, the Sharon Chamber, or you have the longer version of the P2412. They're both the same, just different sizes. First, we want to gain access to the screws that hold the head box onto this shaft here. I'm looking here, there's one there. We want to remove those screws. so you can gain access to each one of the screws. And I've got a magnet here to get them out of there. But you can use whatever you need. Okay, the three screws removed. If you want to make sure that your needle bar is up, now you can move this to the side. You want to make sure that your needle bar is all the way down if you're going to remove the needle bar so you can get at this screw. You will just need to loosen this screw after the presser foot is off and it will slide out of there. But today I'm going to move out the presser foot. So with that we will loosen that up. And there your presser foot is out. So I'm going to reinstall this presser foot. Okay. With the presser foot reinstalled, make sure your needle comes up to the top position. Now we're going to bring this back around, leaving your presser foot loose, and if you did the needle bar, you want to leave it loose. So now, we can reinstall the screws that hold the head box on. Trying to do this without getting in your way, but I probably obviously am. So I can't see. There we go. Slide that back in position. Just snug your screw down. Don't tighten it all the way. position. Make sure your needle will go down through the hole, the darning foot. Put your next screw in. Okay.
Okay. Now that all screws are in, if you don't have your presser foot on there, you'll see more clearance. Make sure your needle is centered in the needle hole of the darning foot. It should pretty much go back into place, but you may have a slight bit of movement. So you want to make sure that you get it in the center and then come back and tighten all your screws. Snug them up pretty good and tight. Okay. Now that we've got the new presser bar back in, with the needle all the way in the down position, we use the width of a dime just to make it simple. You'll set that under your foot. Make sure it's all the way down. Press your foot's down. Come back with a 764 Allen X wrench. Tighten up your presser bar foot screw. Remove the dime and run it through a cycle. And that's all there is to changing either the needle bar or the presser bar. If you do change the needle bar, make sure when you look down through this eye down here, you will see half a needle eye. And when changing the needle bar, you'll need to check your timing. You will probably have to reset it unless you can get it right back in the same place. And thank you, and I hope this helps you changing out any of these parts.